songs most bees under the table yeah this is gonna be an interesting episode we've got thunder and lightning and my little schmoopy puppy is in the studio with us this could get interesting he's definitely gonna bark oh a hundred percent it's gonna be great he's adorable though i'm laura and i'm hillary this is american unicorn welcome so, I had something happen to me at, um, I, I guess it doesn't matter where it no, happened. it just happened. It just happened. It doesn't matter who it happened to, except that it did happen to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I wanted to tell you about it. Do tell. So, um, somebody made a comment on my tattoo on my arm. Ah. And, uh, the question was... How long will that last? (laughs) (laughs) Most we just got really mad about that. Yeah, Uh, and I and I was a a little bit not understanding Mm -hmm. the question because it's clearly not a temporary tattoo of like a cartoon fish or something. I'll share a picture on Twitter. Um, and it so the snow leopard one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's actually a snow lion. Sorry. Sorry. It's a Tibetan snow lion. Better Um, check myself. Shout out to my tattoo artist at New York Adorned, um, Yoni. Uh, Anyway, so he says, he, he says, oh, how long will it last? And I said, well, it will last for the whole time, you know, until I'm in the ground basically yeah and he said oh that's and then i said well i hope it lasts a long time because it really hurt mm-hmm. and then i also got a look of i can't be- what i and an incredulous disbelieving look that a giant arm tattoo would be painful huh and then this person said I've never heard that a tattoo would hurt. <laughs> so I, I, again, couldn't, like, thought I maybe had fallen into a coma and this was a dream. Yeah. Um, explained how a tattoo is applied with needles uh, pushing ink under the upper layer of the dermis. How long did this conversation last? Uh, about 10 minutes. Yikes. Did you stand still? I was sitting... Yes, I well, but I the, this person was aware of my presence, and when the conversation was over, uh, this person also thanked me because he said, "Oh, I had no idea." And this is a person who is over sixty years old, has lived on the earth for a long time, and had a no idea the tattoos were permanent, <laughs> or how they are applied. That's interesting. I, I just, I was dumbfounded. Absolutely dumbfounded. I didn't, I mean, he, he sounds like a cryptid. I didn't think they existed. Let's start a podcast about them. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good a, idea. Yeah, okay. I think we should do it. I also wanted to mention that this um, same person, I have a very unusual tactic. Mm-hmm. Um, I found that he operates much like a hammerhead shark. Mm -hmm. So if you are approaching him in the hallway, if you just stop and don't move, yep, he'll eventually swim around you. Yeah, he'll just swim right past. Yep, this guy's on a mission, and uh, it's not to learn. It's not to learn about tattoos. Nope, not every. It's not everybody's thing. I totally get it. But it's like. It's so prevalent in pop culture that, like, tattoos hurt or they're forever. (sighs) That even people who don't have tattoos are, like, told that at some point in their life. I mean, have you ever watched a movie? (laughs) You know, because I feel like that's that's where I was the most surprised about this whole conversation. I was like, 
wow. And so maybe, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But it was just such a strange conversation. I thought it's perfectly appropriate to talk about on this podcast. Yeah. Because that's what we talk about. Weird, Weird shit. shit. <laughs> we didn't it. plan that. No, because because that's what we talk about. Yeah. Also, the storm is coming. What storm? The storm outside. Oh. I just like, I I read like, everybody's just like freaking out that, and when I was driving over here, I saw a ton of like baby trees that had fallen over. Have you, did you have a storm like last weekend or something? Yeah, we had a storm Tuesday night and it was oh. super scary. The, the trees were down. They were like, oh, i if it was the, If it was the ones in my neighborhood, somebody definitely hit those with a car. <laughs> It was in your neighborhood. Yeah. That was not storm related. That was dumb ass related. I mean, the drivers in this area it's are terrible. Ba- it's bananas. There's always a tree oh hit. My God. I don't I don't get it. But it happens and I feel bad for the trees. I do too. They've just stopped replacing them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those poor trees. They're like, yeah. I'm just trying to do my thing, man. Yep. That was pretty sad. Oh my god, I can see Mosby's butt. <laughs> I'll post some pictures of Mosby too. Mow, he's mow, he's mow. on there already, but he's my little champion. Mow, mow, mow. He's named after Ted Mosby from How I Met Your Mother. I don't know what that is. Well, do you live under a rock? Do I, tattoos hurt? I, I do, and they do. <laughs> well, are you ready to get into our cryptid this week? I am. Tell me things. I do have to pre-apologize. I've been sick. So. Probably- oh. 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 What? I just remembered something that I wrote down that I wanted to bring up from last week's Iceland episode. Okay. Go. And that is Bjork is from Iceland. <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> um, and uh, our audio tech, Joe, texted me and he said how many times do i have to have this conversation with you <laughs> the bjork is from iceland oops oops i mean no mention on my pronunciations no no i think your pronunciation pronunciations <laughs> red leather yellow leather were um up to snuff yeah up to joe up to joe well he's not from iceland so he <laughs> It's okay, as long as our audio texts are good, I'm good. I can now see Mosby's back foot. Yeah, he's so handsome. He has tiny toes. <clears throat> he is a dorgy dox, or sorry, he's a dorgy, so he's a corgi and dachshund mix. He is very low to the ground. Yep, best of both worlds. Yep. Um, much like our cryptid this week, <gasps> he's kind of the best of some worlds. I don't know if they're the best. But today we are going to be exploring the Pope Lick Monster. <laughs> I hope that's a place, not a thing. <laughs> is it from the Vatican? <laughs> yes, it is. It licks the Pope. <laughs> it's the dog that li- lives in the Vatican. He loves peanut butter, and so does the Pope. <laughs> So, um, the Popelik monster is a legendary part man, part goat, and part sheep creature. That I is, mean, go- goats and sheep are pretty yeah. similarly related, yeah. in all fairness. Man, bear, pig. Man, bear, pig. Um, who is reported to live beneath the Norfolk Southern Railroad trestle bridge that goes over Popelik Creek. Po- no. In Fisherville, um, in the Fisherville neighborhood of Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky. Kentucks. Um, I'm just if I was writing down Poke Lick Monster because Pope. 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 Oh, I wrote Polk, but I we just had a whole conversation about it being the Pope. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kentuck. I feel like that's an appropriate place. For somewhere in Kentucky. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of things named after licks there. Mm-hmm. I don't give a lick. I don't give a lick. Um, and so is this creature related to the goat man in any way? Um, physically, yes. 
he they they share similar characteristics. Um, it was we'll like a sad sad noise. That I, I just know. Heard. Sorry, my oh my gosh, is it Inter- Nick? It's Nick. Talk um, about Nick. Talk about Nick. Uh, Nick told us um, a fun. Well, it was a Nick story um, about how Nick when. Uh, before Hillary and Nick started dating, Hillary was in a hot tub with a bunch of other ladies making lady soup and saw Nick up off in the distance. And Nick waved down at the ladies and making soup in the hot tub and everyone's in bikinis. La, 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 la. Hey, hey. And uh, Nick was slowly like waving and backing away and then like fell and then started like slowly crawling away so that nobody would see that he had fallen. However, all the ladies could clearly see him crawling away. We could. It's true. Thank you, Laura. Sorry for that interlude. Oh, oh Nick. There will be hell to pay. Uh, oh. So. Let's back, go. Let's, let's back to journey back. Yeah. Journey back. <laughs> okay. So um, the public monster is a human goat hybrid. Described as having a deformed human torso, goat legs, and a horned head. He is said to have short horns protruding from its forehead. Yes. Um, And it is described as, um, yeah, having a grotesquely deformed body of a man with powerful fur-covered goat legs, an alabaster-skinned face, and wide-set eyes. Fawn esque. I was just going to say, sort of like a, a satyr. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is also something that you do at Passover. <laughs> um, he has short, sharp horns protruding from his forehead that is nestled in long, greasy hair. We have that in common right now. <laughs> that, <laughs> that matched the color of the fur on his legs. And he um, haunts this rail, 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 oh my gosh. Railway trussle in in Kentucky. What's a trussle? So, <laughs> let me tell you. Please tell me what a trussle Get is. Ready for trussle corner. Um. So the tr- the trussle over po- Pope. Oh my gosh! Could, hold on. Say say it. Red <laughs> leather, yellow. Leather. It's mostly the cold medicine. <laughs> Taking Excuses. a hold of my brain. Excuses. <laughs> Just admit that you're drunk. <laughs> I wish I was drunk. Um, so it is um, a, a trestle basically is what a uh, train goes over when it's like going over a pass or a creek. So oh, um, like a bridge. Like a bridge. Yeah. But um, railroad trestles are slightly different. Those are in the movies all the time. Right? Yes. 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 Um, it's. It was built in the late 1800s, and it raises 90 feet above Pope Lick Creek. Um, It spans a distance of 772 feet, Hmm. but much of it is covered by um, brush and small trees. So it doesn't look like it's anything. It's, It's like rusted. It doesn't look like it's safe. It doesn't look like it's active, but it is. I'm getting a Billy Goat's Gruff yes. sort of vibe from this whole thing. Yeah, that's a good vibe to have. Okay, goody. So the trestle has no railings and no place to hide from trains. Um, Is it still in use? Yes, it's still in use. Um, and it's so basically it's just there's no rails, no anything. It's just like a lofted train track. Um, with a nine-story drop. So it's like, okay, in the movie Back to the Future Part 3, where mm-hmm. they travel back into the Old West. Yes. And remember, before they finished the bridge, mm-hmm. it just, like, went off into nothing. Yeah. That's what I picture. Yeah. No railings. Yeah. It's gotcha. like that only it, it... But it goes all the way across. It goes across. all the way across. Gotcha. So there's numerous legends about... How- how this creature came to be here and how it and Pope Lick not in my basement. Yeah. Um that <laughs> not here be now. Up because it, there's only Mosby. one Mosby is handsome. Um so and not disfigured. 
According to the story, the beast was captured in the wilds of Canada around the end of the 19th century. You know, wild, wild Canada. Um, the go- <laughs> that makes the most yeah, sense. It does. The goat man became um, basically a feature of a circus freak show. Oh. And but during an electrical storm, the <sighs> train that was going over the creek the on the trestle, there was an electrical storm that caused the train to derail. Um, this devil like creature was supposedly the only survivor um, of this horrific train crash. crash where everyone died. Um, but instead of running into like the wilderness, he made his way to the Pope Lick Trestle and is said to reside there even now. Uh oh. Spooky scary. I mean he's like he's like Bruce Willis from Unbreakable. Yeah. yeah. Other <coughs> legends claim that he is a reincarnated farmer. Who sacrificed goats in exchange for satanic powers? Oh, like that movie where they're. <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? No. Where the, it's like the goat, they're like, that goat is the devil. His oh, name is George. Um, witch. The, 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 the yeah. witch. The witch. And the, and the goat was the devil the whole time. Yeah, I loved that movie. I love goats. I was like, sweet, sweet revenge. Yeah. I lay her all in the woods having a good um, time making schmores. Yep, so he was said to have sacrificed goats and done other gross things involving goats. Nope. No. But this is his reincarnated that seems... form. I don't know why anyone would reincarnate him. But... Well, he wouldn't come back as a, a, a human. No. You earn that yeah. shit. So... Earn it! <laughs> oh, that just scared me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I literally sent him a text message that says, I can't text right now. I'm recording. Please don't text me anymore. And he just responded, okay. <laughs> He's, he understands. He's so handsome. He's very handsome. Um, other stories say that the origin of the beast um, was there was an old chemist Oh. Who became a recluse after his face was horribly burned in an explosion. And I guess that horrific burning turned him goaty. Oh. Um, and he's also been said to have just be a strange hermit who lives in an old shack. <laughs> all awesome. Yeah. All I, probable. I mean, in all fairness, Marty, uh, my, my life partner... Uh, has a goat like beard. Yeah. And if he lived in the woods, um, people might say the same thing about mm-hmm. him. Were you in a terrible chemical accident? <laughs> exactly. I mean, I mean, I I like the uh, circus freak one the best. I kind of like the he's just an old guy with a beard <laughs> thing. I like that he's a deformed Canadian. <laughs> yeah, get out of my yard. Oh yeah. Uh, hey, <laughs> I, what is what is it that they eat in Canada? Like poutine or something? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Justin Trudeau, man. Mm. Get some. He can goat goat man me any day. We'll take your goat man, <laughs> JT. Um, they can have our cheese puff. Um, yeah. <laughs> moving on. Moving so, on. So, um, the public monster has um what I've listed in my notes as special murder skills oh so some of his special murder murder skills include um he's able to um hypnotize um and use voice mimicry to lure trespassers onto the trestle to meet their death before an oncoming train so he is able to mimic familiar voices in order to lure how would he know what a familiar voice to these strangers would be? I don't know. Maybe it's just like baby voices or yeah. something. Yeah. Well, Maybe it's Justin Trudeau's voice. Yeah. I'd go up on that. Train. Yeah. Me too. We can't lose him. <laughs> um, He's a national treasure. <laughs> so. Um, International. Yeah. Other stories claim that the monster jumps down from the trestle onto roofs of cars passing beneath it. That would suck. Yeah. Bingo. It would be like, 
Do you feel hear cloven hooves? Yeah. Tick tock, tick 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 tick. Yeah. Other le- legends claim that um, he just runs around and attacks his victims with a blood-stained axe. <laughs> Doubt Mosby. Mosby doubts that highly. Yeah. <laughs> Mosby is not amused with that. Um, <laughs> and it is said that the very sight of the creature is so unsettling that those who see it while walking across the trestle are driven to leap off. Yikes. Yeah. Hey, Mau Mau. He's got a lot of here? special skills. That, those are special skills. Yeah. Um, oh, Mosby just jumped in my lap. We have a third. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, I'm getting kisses. Oh, Mosby, <laughs> did you want to say something, Momo? <laughs> He's licking my tattoo. <laughs> He's like, I'm so sorry that horrible person said that. Can you hear the licking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. He's going to be. We have a third home. host oh. today. He's very handsome. He is so handsome. Um, he doesn't like goats, though. He's not into it. <laughs> that was some really great audio. It was, it was, it's happening. Licks not added or enhanced. Just Pierre Mosby. <laughs> okay. okay. So, those be corner. I think we all need fidget spinners for this episode. <laughs> remember upstairs when I said I'm not ADD and don't need one? I remember when you said that. But in all fairness, if everyone could see how handsome Mosby <laughs> is, oh, and how gentle and lovely his yeah. kisses are, yeah. they would totally get it. We refer to um, Mosby's licks as slow and methodical. <laughs> um. <laughs> It feels so, because I'm getting them right now on my arm, and that's how they feel. Winnie is like, she's trying to like, she she only has 10 seconds to live. She's (laughs) going to get all the licks, and she can. I feel like he's cleaning me. Yeah. For something better. Sometimes, um, it's really special. Sometimes he'll start licking you, and he has a lukewarm tongue. (laughs) And I don't know why, but it's really funny. Because it's his, like lukewarm. His tongue feels warm, yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's lukewarm. It was it was warm. I wouldn't say lukewarm. It was like yeah. hot to warm. Yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> I enjoy it so much. Look, you can see mommy. Hi, baby. I'm going to take a picture of you so people can see. The handsomeness. Yeah, he's a total ham. Yep, we adopted him. You should always adopt puppies. Dog, dog. So, um, getting back to to murder. Pope lick and murder and special skills. Back to licking murder. Oh, Oh. must be licking. Whoa. 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 Worlds colliding. Well, I'm glad you could join us for this episode about licking. That's probably why you hopped up. You heard us say lick. (laughs) Dogs. You're very good at listening. (laughs) And licking. Get a gold star today. So, um, the Popelik monster um, is a very interesting cryptid because there's no actual reported sightings. He, however, there are many deaths attributed to him. Oh. So, people who have seen him have not lived, (laughs) essentially. That's convenient. So, um, (laughs) or they haven't lived long. You haven't lived until you've seen the Pope monster. Pope so, lick monster. Until you get licked by it. The PLM. Um, yes. The uh, So the Pope Lick train trestle had um, always kind of been a, a cool spot for kids. Um, Sex. Yes. And also those um, who were kind of doing like bravery test initiations where someone was dared to climb the trestle. Um, and kids don't do it. Don't do it. Um, stories of these encounters, um, have been around for more than three generations and have kind of like the legend about it has also spurred more people coming to it and being asked that, you know, dared to climb it and all that good stuff. So question yeah. Is okay, so you know a lot of these like urban legends come from don't have sex as a teenager. Yeah. So um 
What's fun about this is that they were probably like, don't go out there. It's dangerous and the Pope-like monster will get you. Mm-hmm. But in, instead of thwarting the children or the obviously they're teenage boys. Yeah. Sorry. We know that that's who's dying. Um, it's spurring them forward to yeah. go there and be like, I'm going to look at the Pope-like monster. He needs a southern accent. I don't, I don't know if I can do a Kentucky <laughs> accent. Let's go check out the Pope-like <laughs> monster. Much better. More believable. Fried chicken. <laughs> Kentucky fried chicken. Oh, don't say that. Yes. Oh, I'm so hungry. Get some okay. gravy. So um, a dog. A longtime resident of the area, um, Martha Williams, was quoted as saying, um, quote, there would just be mobs of kids out there near the trestle and climbing up on it. It used to be a favorite thing to do. The boys would con the girls into it. Most of the ones that came out here were not locals. The locals sort of knew better. So, um, in in um, recent years, well, not so recent, but since um, this legend kind of started getting off the ground, there's been a lot of deaths. So, in February of 1970, er, 1987, um, a young boy, a 17-year-old boy named Jack Charles bomb the second he uh, went to Spalding University he was struck and killed by a train while wa- while walking on the trestle um, and in May of 1987 19 year old David Wayne Bryant died of injuries suffered when a year earlier when he jumped from the trestle to avoid getting hit by a train oops yeah. teen boys not good um in November of 2000, Nicholas Jewell of Mount Washington, who was 19, died after falling from the trestle. Um, the four friends who were with him told police that he had attempted to cross the trestle and was about halfway across when a freight train approached. This is the movie Stand By Me. I've never seen that movie. I feel like we should stop recording right now <laughs> and just watch it. No. River Phoenix. No, Mosby. Mo- you've upset Mo- him. Mosby, He's- don't. No. <laughs> Mosby. No. <laughs> he'll come back. Don't worry, he'll come back. But you need to watch Stand By Me. Okay. It's your River Phoenix. I'll do it. Jerry Sometimes. O'Connell is the fat kid in it. <laughs> and believe me, it was like the only time when he was fat and he is hot now. <laughs> and he's very nice. And Corey Feldman is in it. And Will Wheaton, <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, God, I could go on. Anyway, it's amazing. Trestles. Trestles. So um, so he was halfway across when a freight train approached. Police said that he moved to the side and attempted to hold on to a railroad tie. But the train's vibration eventually shook him off. Stand by me. Okay. I believe you. Um, in the late 1980s, they, um, there was a 16-minute film release called The Legend of Pope, the Pope, Pope Lake Monster um, that was shot at the trestle by a Louisville na- native and an independent film producer, Ron Chita- <laughs> Last name starts with an S. <laughs> the uh, movie <laughs> um, was... Uh, People were really upset about it because they didn't want more people to be coming to the site. Right. Essentially. Right. Um, and it, in the movie, it depicted a youth being caught on the trestle hanging from a railroad tr- tie to survive, which is a physical impossibility. Like, you're not going to survive by hanging from the railroad trestle. Um, Why? Because, because of the vibrations. vibrations yeah. So um, these legends have turned the Pope Lick train trestle into a destination for thrill seekers. Yeah. Um, and there's they actually had to put an eight foot fence around it, but people still come. Um, when you're saying people, you mean teen boys. Yes. And also people who are doing legend tripping. Oh, God. Um, that sounds awesome. Yeah. And... So there is a common misconception among, um, it says, amateur paranormal investigators that the trestle is abandoned and no longer in use. Uh Uh-oh. 
in reality, the bridge is a major rail rail artery into Louisville, Kentucky. Oops. So it looks like it's abandoned, but it's not. And please never go there. Um, so heavy freight trains cross the bridge several times daily. Oh, my gosh. Um, so it's very easy for someone to get caught atop it while an oncoming train oh is God. barreling at them. Um, Norfolk Southern Railway, bleh, Railway um, has urged citizens not to climb it, obviously, saying that if they're caught, they will be arrested. Um, and I was reading an article about somebody who went to the site kind of like legend tripping. He wasn't going to go up, but as soon as he pulled up, there was like a police car there. Oh. Um, and that's because um, there was a very recent death there. Um, on April 23rd, 2016, oh. um, a woman, Raquel Bain, who what? was 26 and her boyfriend, oh. um, had come from Dayton for a paranormal tour of the, um, Waverly Hill Sanatorium. Oh. So like kind of, uh, they were ghost hunting later, supposed to be ghost hunting later that night. Um, but they had a few hours to kill, so they decided to take a side trip to investigate Pope Lick Creek. Um, they they still don't know exactly what happened, um, but the couple found themselves in the middle of the trestle with a train quickly approaching. Um, Bane was unable to reach safety and was struck by the on- oncoming train and killed, while the boyfriend narrowly escaped while dangling himself over the edge. <sighs> Um, local police say that there was no foul play or any drug or alcohol use, um, and the investigation is still ongoing. Um, the trade engineer, poor guy, Aww. said that he saw the couple and sounded the horn and attempted to break, but just you can't couldn't. stop an oncoming yeah. train like that. Yeah. Um, oh, and gosh. it was going at 32 miles per hour. That's awful. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and the, it's the Pope Lick monster's fault. Yeah, so the couple couple was about forty feet away from safety of the opposite bank, too far to outrun the train. Um, there was no, there's no room to safely let a train pass on the trestle. So yeah, the boyfriend hung over the side, um, and his girlfriend was apparently trying to do the same when she was hit and hurled off the trestle. Ugh. Um, the boyfriend was able to climb down from where he'd been dangling. So I don't think they were. Um, like right in the middle. Um, so yeah, this is, um, the public monster is interesting because it's one of the few cryptids who's been responsible for like multiple reported deaths. Um, whether or not it's involved or it's just, you know, very, whoa, thunder. (laughs) I hope this comes through. It's like gnarly. We're getting gnarly storms right now. I'm scared. Okay. Did you think that the Pope Lick monster is like on one side of the trestle? He's like, hey, <laughs> come <laughs> <What's> over <up>? here. <laughs> come. Oh, no, he's making baby noise. So he's like, hey, yeah, or come he's, over here. Or he's like, hey, I'm Justin Trudeau. Okay. I'm in the top of this bridge. Come and get me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, those poor people, yeah. that poor engineer, everyone. Yeah. yeah, so it's very sad. He's a very sad cryptid. Um, but I thought it was cool and interesting because there's a lot of similarities between him and Goatman, you know, yeah. like the axe wielding, the being at a site where teenagers do it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Maybe he's just a pervert. Yeah. He's just a Canadian freak pervert. <laughs> oh, my God. I love the idea that he's just like this old man. He's like, get off my trestle. <laughs> a. Billy Goats. Maybe it's a combination of all of those things. Maybe he's an old man who's Canadian. Yeah. Who was used to be in the circus yeah. and also just really digs trains. Mm-hmm. None of those things could be Marty. I'm just thinking about the beard and he has a goat-like beard and how much I love goats that maybe that's why I love his face so much. Mm-hmm. Maybe. It's all coming together It's for all you. coming together. <sighs> and licking. And licking. It's good. Mouse 
So, um, yeah, that's the legend of the Poopalik monster. Uh, Poopalik. He doesn't lick the poop. It's probably best for the Pope. Yeah. Now that I've thoroughly depressed everyone. Yeah. Wah, wah. We're going to have to raise it. Raise the roof. Um, I'll post lots of pictures of Mosby. Mosby's face. He's very handsome. He is. He matches a carpet. I can tell, um, tell you he has a tiny little bald spot on his belly. What's that from? Um, when he was in the Humane Society, he was sleeping on cold concrete and got frostbite. And so he has this little tiny spot on his tummy where no hair grows. Oh, my God. But it's like the softest skin. <laughs> it's so soft. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hashtag Mosby's soft spot. Yeah. He does. He has a soft spot. Can you it's get not a picture on his head. of it? It's on his tummy. Yeah. Trash. So fun yeah yeah i don't know fun sad yeah now i'm all depressed yeah and it's storming man it's a lot I, going on today I feel like the, down here the barometric pressure has made things very awful <laughs> yeah okay awesome well so, thanks for listening and stuff <laughs> <laughs> we can't and like that thanks for listening I'll take it. Laura, shut your pile. I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our crazy episode today. Um, next time we'll have fidget spinners, so we'll be less distracted. Um, nope. Oh, my gosh. Oh, guys. Emergency flash flood warning. In my area. Uh-oh. Just a flash. We could just... We could just get Pope licked right out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Build the trestle. So thank you for listening. Um, please follow us on Twitter at, at AM Unicorns. Um, we're going to be doing a giveaway next episode. So stay listening, tuned next episode um, for you guys voted for a water bottle. American Unicorns water, Wat- bottle. water bottle. So um, how it's going to work is we're in our next episode are going to say a secret code word. I don't know if we've come up with it yet, but we will say this is the code word. And the first person to message us on Twitter with the code word will win the American Unicorns water bottle. Water bottle. That's great. So thanks for hanging out with us today. Thank you. Keep it weird, people.